Hello and welcome. Today we will show you how to collect blood using the Zarsted S Monovet and safety needle. In this video, we will be introducing you to the vacuum technique. Please observe the hygiene regulations of your facility. You will need the following items. A tourniquet, single-use gloves, block rack, a safety needle, disinfectant, a multi-safe disposal box, antiseptic swabs, an empty cup, and the S Monovets. In general, we recommend filling the first S Monovet using the aspiration technique so that blood collection starts gently. Prepare the second and all additional S Monovets for the vacuum technique. Pull the plunger all the way to the end until it audibly clicks into place. Then break off the plunger. Prepare the next S Monovets in the same way. Now apply the tourniquet. For optimal sample quality, the tourniquet should be left on for a maximum of one minute. Examine the veins and select a suitable vein. Disinfect the skin around the chosen puncture site. Remove the safety needle from the packaging. Thanks to the peel-off opening, this can be done without having to touch the safety needle. Connect the first S Monovet to the safety needle for collection using the aspiration technique. To do this, slide the S Monovet into the integrated holder and turn it clockwise. After removing the protective cover, hold the safety needle with the needle bevel facing upwards. The needle protector should always be on the right hand side. Stretch the skin and hold the vein in place. To avoid piercing through the vein, puncture it at a flat angle. Upon successful puncture, blood will begin to flow into the S Monovet. Then, gently pull back the plunger. Loosen the tourniquet. To avoid hemolytic samples, gently pull the plunger until it will go no further and wait until the blood flow stops. Rotate the S Monovet anti-clockwise to remove it from the safety needle. The safety needle will remain in the vein. Now invert the S Monovet once and store it in an upright position. Connect the first pre-evacuated S Monovet to the safety needle. And wait until the blood flow stops. Remove the S Monovet from the safety needle and invert the filled S Monovet once. Store it upright in an upright position. Now, connect the next pre-evacuated S Monovet to the safety needle and repeat all the previous steps as for the first pre-evacuated S Monovet. Invert this S Monovet once as well. Store it upright like the other S Monovets. Remove the safety needle and apply pressure with the swab onto the vein. The needle protector can be activated with one hand on a stable surface. The needle engages audibly. Alternatively, you can also activate the needle protector with your index finger. Discard the safely locked safety needle in a sharps disposal box. Pull the plunger of the first S Monovet all the way to the end until it audibly clicks into place. Then break it off. Store the correctly labeled sample upright. To avoid the blood clotting, invert each S Monovet individually or altogether several times. For the optimal coagulation of the S Monovet serum after collection, store these standing upright. 
So next time, if you follow all the steps in this video, you will ensure a safe and successful blood collection.